today on Make It Take It Outdoors, I bought a thing. <laughs> Let the DIY begin. <laughs> start this off we're gonna need a couple tires I got those at Harbor Freight for four dollars each eight bucks a cotter pin some washers five eighths interior uh, dimensions forgot to mention the tires axle size is five eighths of an inch a uh, nylon locking wash uh, locking nut some more nuts a uh, threaded five eighths rod for the axle and of course the milk crate all right, let's start at this. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, pool noodle. Some zip ties. Uh, tools you'll need is a pair or two of pliers to get that uh, nylon washer on, or nylon nut on, and a hacksaw to cut down the uh, threaded rod to size. A drill to uh, make the hole for the axle. And last but not least a length of pvc pipe uh it's half inch but actually i tested the uh, 5 8 rod and it fit in there just perfectly so we're going to use this all right um i'm going to go right here which is in front of the middle and drill a small pilot hole That should be perfect to put the axle inside the milk crate. Be right back. Now, just drill out the holes. Try not to make too much of a mess. Ah, I knocked the camera over. There we go. All right, I've put the uh, nylon nut on here. It ain't going anywhere. It's almost like a ratchet strap. You, I checked it out. So we're gonna take the first wheel. This side goes out and just slide a washer on. Slide the tire on. another washer and then I cut out these pieces of the uh, PVC pipe about a half inch just as an extra spacer in there so let me uh, get that on here and there's that spacer and that's gonna go to this side and we'll see if we have good clearance and everything okay that works out nicely. That spacer gives it just enough space right there, that's the name, to uh, keep the washer from right up against the milk crate. So on this side, it'll be the same thing. We're gonna slide the spacer on. Washer. Tire. The other washer and hold on just a second all right so what I'm checking right now is I'm gonna put one nut right here but because it's I want to be able to remove this that nut has a chance to come off and that's where that winch pin will come in the cotter pin so I'm gonna cut the uh, axle just outside the uh, line of the tire so I can get that pin on there as easy as possible and I'll be right back after I do some hacking with a saw. All right, we're back. So I went ahead and cut that uh, PVC pipe to length and fits in there just about perfect. So let's get this going. So again, we've got 
washer going on. Tire. Washer spacer. And let's see if we got that lined up well enough. Look at that. All right. Spins freely. Just gonna put spacer, washer. Tire. Washer. Regular nut. The linchpin. So we just slide that on there like that. Let's see if I can pull this thing on the first time. I haven't tried to loosen it up yet. All right, let's try this again, but we're going to go. But what do most people do and just push it on. All right. Well, there you have it. This nut starts working its way off, cotter pin will stop it. This side's locked in. Now I'm going to attach a couple pool noodles for uh, padding and we'll give it a try stay tuned all right pull noodles installed and in a second I'll show you how I'm going to store this when it's in the kayak so I can use it also as a uh, regular milk crate fishing milk crate all right I've attached a second PVC piece of pipe up here at the top I saw this on another design so thought I'd incorporate it um, and that's just where I'm going to store the axle and the tires. So they're up and away from the bottom of the milk crate and not hitting the deck. All right, now I just got to trim these off and zip tie those suckers on. All right, so here it is, all finished. Um, now let's see if I can figure out how to use the thing. One thing I've already said I'm going to have to change is when I put padding on the other ends, um, this kind of got a, a tri hole feel, kind of a pontoon type of thing. And it's just sitting on the cart itself right now. So I want to add some uh, padding there. All right, so I went ahead and installed the uh, other uh, pool noodles, so now it's not going to scuff up my boat. <sighs> I can't wait to take her out. All right, there you have it, my first DIY project with my new kayak. Um, I picked up the uh, Teton Pro 11.6 from Dix. It's the same as the Yukon 11.6, both made by Lifetime. Um, the reason it's a different name for Dix is so they don't have to match places like Walmart. Um, 
because they do price matching and everything. But I was actually able to pick it up from Dick's the same day for about $7 cheaper than Walmart because Walmart charged $50 for shipping and you had to wait about three weeks. So win for me. Um, I hope you like this video. There's going to be a lot more kayak videos coming along with the lure making videos and everything. A lot more DIY. And uh, I think I'm going to take this thing out and uh, shoot a video of me trying to paddle it. Because this is my first kayak and this should be a trip. Uh, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit like. If you like other videos by me, hit subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot more. And uh, I'm really trying to... Uh, make it easy for people to make lures and DIY kayak stuff. So uh, I really do appreciate you watching this. And in the meantime, tight lines.